Okay, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, look, check it out. So yesterday, um, yesterday was April the twenty third, yeah, uh, Sunday, and I got a call from my old roommate telling me he's fitting to go test out this stand up comedy. So I think it was his fifth time on stage. He went to an open mic over at uh, Cap City Comedy Club in here in Austin, Texas. Um, hit me up. He was trying out for the thirty uh, second annual Funniest Person in Austin competition. So hit me up. Got me some tickets. Told me to come out, check them out. Went out to the comedy club, first time for me in the comedy club. I uh, wasn't really sure what to expect, honestly. I mean, I knew I was going to laugh and I knew it was going to be funny. But other than that, I never really knew what to expect. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Got a couple drinks, hanged out a little bit. But anyway, I made a little vlog over the comedy um, special. I took a video of my boy Raul up there doing his thing. Hopefully more to come. I'm telling him we can keep pushing. Looking forward to seeing what uh, new projects he comes out with in his career in comedy. And yeah, check it out. I went to Howard, you Austin is weird. Come to my city, we'll show you my dear. We trap up for hobby, we don't even care. Glossy ass worker, we'll fuck up your gear. But then you be back for the festival, yeah. That Molly fell out of thin that man, I swear. 360 bridge, jump, I dare. Keep the light on me when I match, yeah. 183 with the cow speed. Austin, Texas, no protein. College ball, bet on the whole team. 36, 36 Halloween. We jug and finesse and we cut the green. Long day at work and I'm sipping lean. In the trap house where a nigga be. Young JB, young JB, follow me. Blues on the green, brought the whole team. Throw out a blanket, smoke on some weed. Then hit the scene. Crave, 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 y'all on me. Lady Bird Creek, I'm your Bull Creek. Turn up with me, turn up with me. <laughs> My mama asked, they said you can film with no light. As long as there's no light. So I'm gonna try to make a vlog out of it. So this is a. The order. I'm doing like last. We're going last. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll be here. My mom's here. Nice. Um, we're gonna for her, so. Oh, she's right here. Okay. Hi, right, bro. Good luck. Um, and Mr. Rowan, I'm gonna bring up your next performer. Please welcome the very funny Raul Rubio Jimenez. Yeah. Thank you for saying my middle name. Now everyone's extra confused why I stepped up here. I'm a bit, I'm, I'm a few shades short of my name, and I know that because like my grandparents will talk about me in front of my face, like behind my back, by speaking Spanish. That's not fun. Doesn't make me feel I'm more out of place than that. Another thing you might think about me by looking at me is that I'm 21, and I'm not. Stop offering me alcohol. Um, <laughs> I know people use beards to measure age, uh, but I use mine to measure my depression, and uh, it's only getting longer, so great. Um, sad that I had to actually follow like actual comedians. It sucks, but, you know, it's um, give it up for Martha. That's an easy way to get class, right? Yeah. Right. Um, I miss my aunt's wedding for this, and it's okay because like I know I'll be there for the divorce. <laughs> Um, yeah, I like Austin. I've been in and around Austin my entire life, and I think I've learned that there's a difference between an Austinite and a Texan, and it's just, it's the culture, really. Like, um, like I don't think a Texan knows what an actual gay man is, and the reason I know is because I've known a gay man my entire life. My mom's best friend is gay, and I roomed with him for a while. And um, uh -oh. whenever I tell like a, an Austinite this, they're like, cool, and it doesn't ruin their day. But whenever I tell a Texan this, it ruins the next 20 minutes of my day. <laughs> they always ask me like some weird questions. I was like, did he ever try and touch you? Or did he ever say things to you that just confused you or brainwashed you into believing what he believed? And I'm like, you just described a stray Catholic priest. Like, you didn't describe a <laughs> Some better questions would probably be like, was the house always neat and tidy and just smell nice? Did you really like the feng shui of the place? Did he listen to watercolors? And yes, all three of those. Like he, he gave me a piece of furniture eight years ago, and three IKEA trips later, it's still the best piece of furniture I have in my apartment today. <laughs> Another thing that uh, Texans have a misconception about is weed. Where are my pot smokers at? I feel like that was like a little held back because I'm pretty sure I bought weed from half of this room and I sold it to the other half. <laughs> so you were holding back there. But uh, you know, Texans think that weed makes you lazy. Texans think that Texans think that weed makes you a bad person, makes you make terrible decisions. And I'm here to tell you that that's not true. 
You already made terrible decisions because you started smoking weed. <laughs> Weed's illegal, so you are a bad person because you're a criminal in the law's eyes. In my eyes, you're a patriot because if you smoke weed, dude, America was founded on doing shady shit and getting away with it. <laughs> patriot in my eyes. Um, but it can make you lazy. I do think that's true because, like, if you smoke pot, you want to stay inside. Because if you go outside, then you get arrested and you have to stay inside forever. So it's just. <laughs> Many choices. <laughs> I have weird and controversial opinions. Like uh, people don't like my my gun control law because I think open carry should be allowed. And it's not because I want you to protect yourself or I don't want to protect myself or I don't want people to be generally nicer to me. It's because uh, I I like the gun holster as a fashion statement. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> it's like it's really cool and it's a unisex thing because like if you're a guy and you have a gun holster, you're really cool. You're like Clint Eastwood. You're like James Bond. One of those is an actor, one of those is an actor. Like, and, yeah, they're both fake, but... <laughs> but if you're a woman and you have like a gun holster, then it probably matches your purse and your shoes, your earrings and your lipsticks, and now you're fabulous and legal. <laughs> the best combination, by the way. So, um, has anyone here ever wanted to build a time machine? <laughs> There's some regret in this room, okay. <laughs> I only say that because you don't want to go forward with a time machine, really. Like, and if you do, just build any machine, and by the time you're done, you'll be in the future. Time machine. Congratulations. <laughs> but most people want to go to the past when they build a time machine and to fix something that they regret. And in my opinion, after a few years of trying and failing to build a time machine, everyone calls you crazy on the news. Your biggest regret in life starts to become building a time machine. <laughs> so now you're building a time machine to stop yourself from building a time machine. <laughs> and that's not very efficient. <laughs> not. Not. Uh, I like the English language because uh, there's a lot of weird things that we can do with the English language. Like, I don't know if you knew this, but you can say anything you want and not really mean it in English. And it's because of this word. Uh, it's called unless. I call it the bullshit clause, but we'll use unless. Um, <laughs> And like, some examples are like, it's not okay to kill anyone, unless they're trying to kill me. <laughs> I would never sleep with that person, unless I was drunk. <laughs> I would never vote for him. He stands for nothing I represent. Or he represents nothing I stand for, whatever. I would be pretty drunk. I'm about to fuck this girl. I would never fuck. Um, <laughs> unless I had no better options. And uh, I know the room fell silent at that. And, uh, <laughs> You know, just realize that whatever you think is your political opinion, like, when you have, your, you have an opinion, you're putting it out there that, hey, I might be wrong. Like, I thought I was funny, I'm wrong. Like, that's... <laughs> oh. Obvious. Um, but, like, I, I don't get why people get mad, because there are no political facts out there. Okay, there's one, and it's that we're all fucking wrong. That's it. That's the only political fact that exists. I stand by it. Sure. Um... <laughs> you guys like it specific, don't you? Um, I'm not going to college, and I know that's kind of frowned upon, but like, I don't want to like go to college and spend like ten thousand dollars, and then in four years be at the same place that I am now. Like, it it just doesn't look attractive to me. I'm sorry. I don't know what about that attracts people so well. Like, I just I don't get it. Um, but if I had a time machine, I'd go definitely stop going to college. My name is Roland Jimenez. Thank you.
Boston is weird. Come to my city, we'll show you, my dear. We trapping for hobby, we don't even care. Glossy ass wiggle, we'll fuck up your gear. But then you be back for the festival, yeah. That Molly fell out at the end, I swear. 360 bridge, jump, I dare. Keep the light on me when I match, yeah.